So yesterday, I'm driving my dad at the airport because he's going to Australia. So I wake up at 5.30, drive to the airport. I usually get to work around 8. But in this case, I got to work at 7. Uh, and I, I could have gone in, but I don't know the alarm code, and I don't want to even mess with it. So I just went to McDonald's instead. Uh, so I'm a vegetarian now. It's a little bit more difficult for me to go to McDonald's than it used to be. But they still have eggs for breakfast, so I figured, you know, how hard could it be? I didn't expect much from McDonald's at 7 a.m. That would be pretty empty. Uh, actually, it was not. It was full of degenerate gamblers. Um, I'm talking like 11 to 13, kind of older 55 to 65-year-old people who were drinking their coffee and talking about how they're spent all night playing penny slots and losing their $35 or whatever. It's a charming crowd. So I go up to the front, and this is just some of the worst customer service I've ever received, probably in my life. There was this Hispanic, chubby Hispanic woman there, and there's nothing wrong with her being Hispanic, except for that she couldn't speak English. Uh, you got to have someone who speaks English at the register. You have to, all the time. Because if there's ever, like, it's just, the, the experience is so much better if somebody just knows what you're saying. It's not a, you know, everything's fine. Okay, well, I give it a shot. I go up there, and I, you know, look at the thing, and I see the, uh, the sausage burrito uh, breakfast, which has two sausage, egg, and, like, vegetable burritos with some hash browns and a coffee. So I ask her, can I have those burritos with no sausage? She says, yeah, you can. Oh, great, okay. Then I'm still thinking, okay, the big breakfast that has, like, ha like pancakes and eggs and everything. Oh, can I have the big breakfast, but no sausage and double the eggs instead? She says, yes. Great. I think about it a little bit more, and I decide with the burritos. So, okay, I will have the burritos with uh, no sausage and a coffee. So she rings it up, and, you know, I'm waiting around. She gives me my coffee, uh, and then she gives me my burritos, and they come with little hot sauce packets. She didn't give me any of those. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Now I realize what went wrong. But I ask her, can I please have the hot sauce for these? And she looks at me like I'm a fucking asshole and rolls her eyes like she just wants to die because it's so bad to be where she is right now. And then she gives me hot sauce packets. Then I go back to my... Th then I start looking for the drink station and put some cream and sugar on my coffee because I like my coffee with cream and sugar. There isn't a drink station anymore. I mean, they have the soda one, but McDonald's no longer has cream and sugar out. I forgot. They went on a big initiative now where the people prep it for you. But... I would have no way of knowing that, not being a regular, like, I'm not that regular at going to McDonald's and getting coffee, that I don't know that. So I didn't ask for anything, so now I have black coffee with nothing in it. I mean, it's definitely the cashier's responsibility to go, do you want cream and sugar? How many of each? It's 100% her responsibility to do that, but she didn't. So my coffee now is black. I take a bite of my burrito, there's sausage in it. I'm a vegetarian. I don't want the fucking sausage. So I look at the receipt. Well, sure enough, the receipt says no sauce, not no sausage. I understand, okay, it's a, it's a, it's an easy mistake. Sausage and sauce to a non-English speaker, I can see how that's difficult. But, if you play the story back, I asked about sausage not being in the burritos, to which she answered yes, you can get it no sauce in her mind. Let's assume that every time I say sausage, I'm actually saying sauce from her point of view. Can I have no sauce in the burritos? Says yes. Well, it's kind of weird. I mean, sauce isn't in the burritos, so that's already a red flag. It's on the outside. But okay, let's keep going. I switch gears to the big breakfast. Can I get the big breakfast with no sauce and get extra eggs instead? She said yes to this. This is a, this request makes no sense for her to make sense, make, say yes to it. Because A, there's no sauce in the big breakfast. So me saying no sauce there, does, that, that already is a, like, you know, wait a minute, does he actually mean no sauce or something else? Then me saying, can you replace the sauce with eggs? If there was sauce, that's a ridiculous request. That isn't a request you say yes to. That's a request you say no to. If I go to Taco Bell and say, can I get a taco, no sauce, but extra meat? Is that ridiculous? It is. Can I get a cheeseburger, no ketchup, extra meat, extra cheese? No. You can't get no ketchup, extra cheese. You, you have to pay for that, you know? No sausage, extra extra cheese, or no sausage, extra egg, sure, but, but no sauce? So then I, then I double back on that and go back to the burritos once again, and I order them with no sauce. The story doesn't add up. She should have gone, wait, does he, does he mean sausage here? Even if she couldn't hear me. I mean, I said sausage a lot of times. Many, many times I said sausage. So anyway, 
At this point, a line is formed. So now I'm standing in line waiting, and she's the only cashier because, you know, they can't afford to have two cashiers. they got to have one cashier who doesn't even speak English that well. So by the time I get up there, it's been like 10 minutes. And then she looks at me like I'm a fucking douchebag for coming back. Like, how dare you show your face here again looking at me? She doesn't say what, how can I help you, what's wrong. She just fucking glares at me. And I say, you know, I wanted no sausage on here, and there's sausage, so maybe I can get something else. And she comes out with her fucking little speech as if she was waiting for me. As if this is some kind of a sting operation. She goes, well, you know, the burrito mix is mixed together. We can't actually get the sausage out of there. Like, my request was so fucking asinine. Even though she said she could do it. And the way she replied with this, like, so off the cuff, it's as if she knew what I wanted, but intentionally wanted to fuck up my day by giving me sausage anyway. And, and feigning ignorance and giving me no sauce in my receipt. Like, I think she was on to the whole fucking thing and she just wanted to see me and get pissed. I think that's what's going on here. I'm okay, well, you know, I understand that they're mixed in. I get it. And I get why, you know, there's a miscommunication. I'm not even, like, that mad. I would just like something different now. You know, I'd like to get a big breakfast instead. So she just fucking turns her back to me and leaves. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't say, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a manager. You know, one second. She just straight turns away and leaves. Like, cool, that's fine, I'll wait. So, I mean, I knew as soon as I got a manager in front of me, everything's going to be fine. I knew that. So I'm not, like, too worried about her bringing the big guns, you know. So she brings the manager out, this little Indian woman, I think. And then she asked me what's wrong, and I explained to her that I wanted no sausage. She explained to me that they can't do that. And I go, I understand. But, you know, I ordered no sausage. She said, yes. Whatever, I don't care. I just want the big breakfast now with my eggs. So I got my big breakfast with eggs, and, you know, my food was fine, and everything ended, you know, happy ending for everybody. Except for, you know, that was just such terrible customer service that you can't put somebody who doesn't speak English, hates their job, and hates their life up front to take orders. It's just, I mean, that's that's the face of your company. You can't, I mean, who's managing that McDonald's? You can't put her up there. She her, she wears a face like a fucking, like, like the, the tragedy comedy masks. She's the fucking tragedy mask. She's wearing like this frown like, oh, I want to die. You know, I mean, McDonald's is fine. I'll go back to McDonald's. I'm not swearing off it, but I'm just saying. You know, you go to a fast food place, it's not that hard to find a kind of a upbeat girl or some kind of a, a boy is eager to please. Get some kind of young person up there who's, you know, ready to go. Don't don't hire these negative people. So there you go. That's my McDonald's story. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Thanks for listening.